Hello and welcome. Um, I know it's been a while since I've put anything up. It's been busy, uh, let's say. Um, in the past month I have gotten engaged and I've gotten uh, a job. I've been there for a couple weeks now and there were somebody I had applied to before and they just needed my license so when that came through it was all set so um I figured I'd change things up a little bit and do some pinball I mean I'm sure if any of you grew up in the mid to late 90s early 2000s you'll remember the Windows XP version of this game uh, I'm currently playing the Full Tilt version, which is like the full release version. Which, uh, you'll notice will have a few different, uh, differences. Yeah, different differences. Um, for example, those lights, uh, at the top, where you go to upgrade the bumpers, um, if you, if the ball goes through the lane that's already lit, it doesn't turn it off anymore. Which is really helpful. Uh, I've been playing for a couple of days, um, I've become a, I'd say as the ball drains, I've become a lot better than I was when I was a kid, but, um, you know, it's, it's still a learning process, I haven't, before today I hadn't played this game in probably, you know, 20 years. Oh, no, it's been less than that, but... Okay. My high score as of right now is 105 million. Um, very one-off. Um, I think before that my highest was like 20-some. So, a lot of luck, a lot of patience. Uh, it's like a 40-minute game, so... We'll do a couple here, uh, depending on how they go, and... Yeah, definitely doing a couple, because I don't want to have a video that's like three minutes long. So, start up a new game, you'll notice that there's also, if I ever get to a mission, um, it also has a different soundtrack for when the missions are going on. So, I don't know, I just, I grew up playing this a lot. And it actually got me somewhat into, like, pinball machines in the real world. Not to where I'm, you know, any sort of pinball wizard, as the song goes, but... Um, there was a l small game shop in my hometown for a while, and they had a Metallica pinball game that was really fun, so... I did that one the summer they were open. Or I guess one of the summers they were open. But yeah, this is a heavy dose of nostalgia, and it's it's honestly still a very fun game. But yes, for those who um, may have been worried about me just because I have I've been you know radio silent. Everything's good. I've just been you know real life has kind of been doing its thing for better or for worse. Mostly for better. But... Um, there's also in this version of the game. There's also like legitimate multi ball. So if you you see the uh, the three wormholes with the different colored arrows pointing into them. If you get one into the, like, it, say it's on the red right now. So if this were to go into the red wormhole, the bowl, the bowl, the ball will be locked, and it'll just launch a new one. And if you do that three times on the same ball, you will get um, multi-ball, and you'll have three balls rolling around the field. which can be very useful. And 
Also, if you noticed, uh, I had a... basically a replay ball. And you get those at the end of every mission. Which is really nice, and is the main reason why my game last night went on so long. Huh. I plan on posting a picture, or the screenshot I took, of the game after the fact as proof that, you know, I did in fact score that high. But, um, yeah, no, it's just good old-fashioned nostalgia and, you know, it's a fairly simple game, but it's not trivial. But the biggest thing of it is just that there's a lot of luck and chance. Because anything that happens outside of your flippers is totally out of your control. Trying to work on learning how, like, where all of the sweet spots are, I used to know a few of them. Um, if you noticed, I got the, uh... I got that one down fairly good. I can hit it 70-ish percent of the time. And then, um, like, getting it from, to the ramp to the left there from the left flipper, I can usually get that, again, about 70-ish percent of the time. There you go. So, you see, sometimes it just kind of, kind of happens. So we'll do, eh, we'll do at least one more. We'll see how how uh, how badly I do. Uh, if y'all would like me to do a further in-depth explanation of how the game works, I can certainly attempt to. Um. Uh, you know, for like the very late game missions, I don't know how all of those go. I've only gotten up through, I think, rank 6. Out of 9, it looks like, so... I am by no means an expert, I just... I even, you know, learned some of it from a video I pulled up a couple days ago. But some of the things I still remember, so... If anybody wants an explanation, like a more in-depth explanation of the game as a whole, I will do my best to provide next time around. Very easy to be just a micron off from where you need to hit it. And it gets kind of frustrating sometimes. But it's, you know, like I said, it's a lot of patience involved in this. that extra ball. You see the uh, two outlines lit up? Those are the ones with the little uh, pushers on the left and right. 
If I get it into one of those, I get an extra bar. Now, the gravity well is kind of neat, but it's also kind of a pain because it's like a little magnet, and then stuff like that can happen where it gets out of it and slips underneath the flippers. So. I'm probably going to have to end up setting up the extra ball thing again. Yeah, it was blinking and it's gone. So I'll work on setting that up again. late on the hit on that one, so... Eh, it doesn't matter. So we now have a new set of missions. Another replay ball and little work. One thing I will um, mention though that I feel like should be just for either a reminder or for those who don't know the uh, the fuel bar is one of the most important things in this game. So it's those uh, blue, purple, red, and yellow lights over on the left that I almost got into. And that essentially is your fuel source. And if it goes out during a mission, the mission is aborted and you have to start over. Um, you have to actually choose a new one. And if it goes out... Um, when you're not in a mission, like now, um, you can't start a new one until you get more fuel, so. Uh, there's a couple ways to do it. It can go either up or down that, um, the track, you know, where the, uh, lights are, or it can go through the launch thing, that little ramp where the three little bumpers are. Sometimes it can pass through that lane anyway, like it almost did. And then the very top left where that lone bumper is, if those three targets are all lit up, it also refills. Or if the left out lane is activated and launched. So, a lot of ways to keep your ship fueled, and if you don't, um, especially if you're in the middle of a complex mission, then it's a real pain because then you have to start all over. Oh. 
there's a ball lock though, uh, like I mentioned earlier, so if I can pull that off two more times, I'll get Melty Ball, which is a really nice set. I will say though, even though there's an extra ball available, you can only ever have one at a time. And of course, I'm sure that as soon as the lights go out, it's going to one of the ball is gonna go down one of those. Ah, ha, ha, so close. Ah. Gravity Wild hex me over again. Alright, folks, um... That's going to be it for this one. Um, now it's shorter than most of the things I've put out, but um, yeah, just thought it would be nice to do a little bit of a throwback here, and hopefully y'all enjoyed. Um, I plan to do more of these, so hopefully people enjoy them, and um, if you have been, thanks for watching. Bye.